I was raised Baptist and non-denominational mostly. I don't really remember Baptist because it was when I was real young, but mostly non-denominational at the Vineyard Grace Fellowship in the Vineyard of Lincoln County. It was all right. I was never really like super invested in those churches. Mostly I was in kids' church at the first vineyard, and so we just kind of had fun, and they taught us a brief lesson, and then we'd play games and eat snacks, whatever. And then at the Vineyard Grace Fellowship, I got a little bit more involved, but even then it was kind of not super involved. I went to the youth group, but that wasn't really something that I was really invested in. Like, I wouldn't go to hang out with those people outside of the church or anything. And then when I went to the sermons, they were kind of just dry. They didn't really like, hook me, nothing. It wasn't really a, something that pulled me closer into a relationship with God. So we kind of stopped going to the Vineyard Grace Fellowship because we started going to a, a, like family life groups kind of. So just like four or five families in the church would meet and we'd have a Bible study and I don't really know what happened, but we just kind of stopped going to Sunday morning services and we just kind of went to that and I got a job because I was out of high school and so just kind of doing life and life got in the way and then kind of just drew away from the church. I wouldn't say I really had that good of a relationship with God. When I was in church, I didn't really read the Bible outside of church. I just kind of went to church and did church things and then went back to school and just living my life, reading books, whatever, um, being a nerdy homeschooler. <laughs> and so um, once I got a job, kind of worked whenever they needed me. So sometimes I'd have to work Sundays and I'd miss church. And, but I'd try to go to the Bible study. It was like every two weeks, so it wasn't like a huge commitment or anything. Um, but then when I went to basic training, we um, had chapel on Sundays, and so I went to that because it meant I could get away from the drill sergeants for a couple hours. And um, so then I was kind of like, you know what, there's, a little, there's something here for me, I guess. And I had always felt through childhood that I thought there should be something more to um, my faith because when I was like five we went to a FFH concert and that's where I prayed the prayer of faith and I was like just kind of asked God to be in my life and I didn't really feel changed from that time on or anything I didn't feel guided by anything I didn't feel urged by anything um, and I felt like there should be something more from that from a relationship and from faith in God because I'd seen people that had something different that I thought I should have and I wanted to be like them, but I just wasn't and I didn't have that conviction that they had. And so from then on I was kind of like, you know what, there should be something more. There's not really, but I was kind of on my own. I graduated basic training, I was an adult, my parents didn't really push me to church because they didn't go to a church at that point either. Um, and then when I met Hannah, she brought me to the church. And I was kind of skeptical because I'd been here before um, and I didn't really like it. I was just like, these people are crazy. They're out of their mind, whatever. And then, so I was just kind of like, yeah, I'll go with Hannah, whatever. Like I'll go one time and then I'll be like, you know, it's not for me. I'll go to my own church, whatever. Even though I knew that was rubbish, like I wouldn't actually do that. but. Um, then I went and I saw everyone worshiping and what they believed and the genuineness of their faith and what um, they had and I wanted that and I'd seen it in Hannah. I, that's kind of what drew me to her was that she was different from everyone else that I'd ever met. And there was something in her that was different and I wanted to see what that was. And so when I came to the church, I was real skeptical and was still skeptical, but there was something there that intrigued me that I wanted to explore more. So I kept coming back and coming back. And then I was like, I want this, but I didn't really know how to get it because I was 
real stubborn in myself and I didn't let down my walls of what I didn't release myself and give him my all and go all in um, so it was a real struggle to get the Holy Ghost because I wouldn't surrender myself fully I'd go to church and I'd raise my hands I'd feel something but it wasn't the all-consuming power of God that everyone talked about and then I think it was like two three weeks before NAMYC in 2019 Brother Hunt came and preached and I forget what his message was on but he made an altar call at the end I was like you know what this is the time it's now or never and so I just prayed like I'd never prayed before and was real stubborn I'm like I'm not gonna leave this altar until I get it and then I did and it was everything and more that I'd ever thought like I wasn't self-conscious about what I was doing or how I looked I just kind of surrendered and so in that time when I gave him my all he gave me his all too I would say friends here in the church um, they all are always very encouraging so they help build my faith and build me up mentors um, such as our hyphen leader and the family life leaders you and sister Sheena <laughs> Uh, pastor and Sister Showstrand, um, their messages are always um, convicting and so I always try to be better um, because of those and being a husband, um, trying to be the leader for my family helps keep me connected to that and I want to be the best leader um, for Hannah and uh, for my brother and my parents that I can so that keeps me connected and then obviously God and what I can get from him and eternal life with him and the relationship that I can get with him and the growth through that just every time I can connect to him it's like a drug it makes me want more and more every time I know it's real because of my experiences every Sunday I can come into his presence and I can feel that presence and that refreshing spirit and I can see it in everyone at church. You can always tell when someone's had an encounter with God. Like you can see a difference in them, in their face and how they hold themselves. Like just what he can do for you and the things that he's done in my life, like the blessings, that's how I know he's real. It's just everywhere if you look for it. It's hard to say how you know it's real other than that you read it in the Bible and you know that that word's real and then your personal experiences with it. That's